Hello, okay, so welcome back. I mentioned I would um, delve into Nick and Gusnitz's youth international um, aspect before we move on. And I'll also look at Baldwin's injuries whilst he was at um, Brentford. I've also, as you know, I've, I've moved us forward just a touch because I, I wanted to see if any of us made the England under-21 uh, championships and I would have uh, commentated on these games or just you know run run the match simulation and talked over it whilst you boys were playing but unfortunately no, no one seems to have made the squad and Ireland didn't qualify for the under 21s we obviously got there too late to make an impact um, yeah so we'll, we'll, we'll see we'll find out about um, Nick and Customs now but whilst I'm doing that, I've just I've been thinking more about um, our careers at Brentford, and I'm actually the more I think about it, the more how disappointed I am how how little we actually achieved in that first year. It was almost other than Al, it was almost a waste of our um, you know amazing potential. Brentford just aren't spotting us, or the fact is that we're all cutting each other's throats because there's 17 of us. Brentford can't realistically play 17, uh, 16 year olds at, all at the same time because um, it's just again, they would have got even more battered than they already did. So maybe they should have just to build us up for the future. But <clears throat> yeah, it's going to be survival of the fittest just because only the, only the strongest are going to prevail and, and the weak will get pushed to the side and just won't develop properly. And that's kind of a shame. So it's almost not a, a bad thing if we do get picked up and go different places now because the Brentford facilities and coaches just wh whatever they're doing, they're not they're not progressing us in that first year. Only one we went up ones and twos here, but I just think that was more down to um, that determination that a lot of us have. So yeah, I'm just just to rear. I'm disappointed. In, Brentford, just the facilities and the coaching staff let us down there. They've got 17 of the best potential players ever in the whole world, and you know they're not really developing us. But anyway, let's let's. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to go into that. Let's see if Nick played. So Nick could have been would have been eligible for this one, but he's he's not there. There he is. 7.6, decent, good result actually. 5-1, and that was in an actual qualifier. So maybe Nick, maybe Nick, no they didn't qualify, they'd have fixtures here, wouldn't they? Or maybe it's on the next screen. Yeah, if Nick's in the other 21s, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. 6.3, but they lost to Holland. For any football manager 2015 people out there, this guy, in, even in real life, he could be amazing, but in the game he's going to be brilliant in the future. Terence Congolo. I've heard about him before before the game. Place for fire or centre back. Um, Nick again. He's decent. He seems to be hold, commanding a regular start. Beat Portugal. Mm -hmm. Under 21. They're normally a very good under 21 side. Yes, yeah, so Greece haven't qualified for the under 21s. But, but Matt probably. Yeah, sometimes look. Like I said before, it just he played England under 21s there. Nick obviously didn't play because we only know he's got three under 21 caps, but there's no, I can't click into the game either, so I, I don't know why some games do appear, some don't. Okay, but moving on to Matt, and yeah, Italy should be in the under 21s actually, but I don't know if it's worth doing a whole live comp of a game ju just for the sake of one player at this stage. If it was a full international, I'd is in the seniors, I'd, I'd probably do it, but. It's better when it's England and Ireland, just because there's more more of us. It's more fun. But, uh, okay, so Matt had six six caps, didn't he? He's gone so much, the most out of all of us. Probably because they've played more games, and obviously he's got quality. And they tried; to, they were in a race to sign him with England. They beat Belarus. Everyone seems to be beating Belarus, but didn't get two goals like Connor. So that's decent. He's a good player as well, and going to be in real life. This Ro Magnoli and Scoufet, the Udinese under goalkeeper. He's very young, but he's going to be the next Poof on bowl accounts. OK, 
Custance again. He's featuring already, and I know from the game that the, the a lot of these players are going to be amazing. Chris Deeg. So Matt could really do something on the international stage later in his career. Yeah, again, he was a sub there, so that was against Germany. They lost. They played England. Huh, lost 3 0. Matt didn't feature. Oh, he did. He got booked. He must have come off the bench. There's a lot of players there. They seem to have taken it. But again, so he's on the cusp. Cust is on the cusp. Good performance there. Battering Northern Ireland. Oh, this guy in the game is ridiculous. Bonazzoli. He's on... Um, you can sign him for, for 1 million on an approach to sign from Inter. He's 19 and I think he goes on to be the best striker in the game. And custom has got his first goal. This is just very recently because I moved the game forward two weeks to check out, see if we made the under championship, under 21 championships. But it, Italy didn't qualify, so that's that's surprising with all the talent they have. Okay, so well done, Matt. You got your first goal in the fifth minute, under 21 level. Congratulations. And we'll go back to Brentford. Check out Baldwin before moving it on a year. Should just go to my shortlist, really. A lot quicker. So I'm a bit slow navigating. It's probably painstaking, but I've only got the game a week, so I'm, I'm still learning it myself. Uh, there he is. Um, I forgot why I was here. I was like, what am I doing here? Injuries. Uh, nothing, nothing too major. Concussion again. That's... Surely going down to the bell, messing about there. Eight days. Sports hernia. So not, nothing too major. Okay. So hopefully I will move it forward now and we'll come back. We'll all be 18. I'm expecting a lot of us to have moved on, which probably is not a bad thing. It's a shame at the same time we're not all together, but we've got to, we've got to move on to develop. The facilities at Brentford and the coaching staff just... I'm worried they're not going to develop us enough. But I still expect a few of us to stay at Brentford. So we'll see how it pans out. Okay, so watch this space.